Good evening. Thank you for joining us on this Saturday night. I'm meteorologist Clay Smith looking at our radar to begin with. We have, you know, we had a couple of showers and thunderstorms over towards Hot Springs and Arkadelphia over in western Arkansas, but nothing closer to home in the Delta. We stay clear pretty much the entire day all the way from Grenada down to Rolling Floor to Monticello all the way up to T Tunica. It was just a beautiful day with plenty of abundant sunshine. Looking at our water vapor and radar a little bit closer to home. Oh, let me back up this way. We, we have all this yellow and orange. This is what's kept our weather dry over the past couple of days, and that will be persistent over the next really week or so. But the main point of interest for the East Coast right now and pretty much all of the national news is Hurricane Dorian currently about 350 miles to the east of Florida and is slowly making its way towards the northwestern Bahamas Bahama Islands and this will continue on this slow track for the next couple of days. Right now it's a category four storm with 150 mile per hour sustained winds. So if you're on the east coast and watching this, please be mindful that you may have some tropical storm to hurricane force conditions come in the next couple of days and kind of tracking this out uh, over the next few days. Right now, like I said, it's a category four storm and that's gonna gradually make its way. By Sunday morning, it's gonna be knocking on the Bahamas doorsteps. And as we put this into motion a little bit, it's going to start making a little turn, which is going to be good for the East Coast because this might keep it out to sea. But there still will be that chance of storm surge for most of Florida all the way up to the Carolinas, as well as wind damage and heavy rainfall will also be possible because we can't rule out a landfall over the next couple of days anywhere from Florida to the Carolinas. But hopefully all models are indicating that it should stay off the shore for now. So that will be good news. But even better news, it's not going to affect our weather here in the Delta, so Hurricane Dorian will not be an issue. Now moving to our viewer photo of the week. This was sent in by Carly Mahaffey, and this was a nice sunset. This was earlier this week because we didn't have any clouds today. So I thank you for this photo and continue to send these in. I really appreciate all of the pictures that I've gotten over the past couple of weeks. Just send this in to Clay Smith at DeltaNews.tv, or you can follow me on Facebook and send them in that way. For our current temperatures across the regions, we're pretty much in the 70s everywhere from Vicksburg all the way up to Pine Bluff down to Batesville. It's a nice crisp night. Not too much humid humidity in the air. Current weather right now in Greenville, I mean, we're only at 79% humidity, which is good because this time last week we were in the 90s humidity wise. So a little bit cooler out there and it's 75 degrees, pretty pleasant. Same for Greenwood, just a notch cooler at 74. That humidity sitting a little higher at 85%, but still not that bad of a night. So if you have any outdoor plans, I would definitely recommend to get outdoors tonight. And for our almanac, got up to 93 in Greenville today, 94 over towards Greenwood which is a far cry from the 105 degrees that we saw in 2000 and the 104 that we saw in 1985 in Greenville. And neither place saw any rain or any precipitation of that matter. And we've seen plenty of sun. And with these 90 degree temperatures, I bet you're wondering when fall is. Well, good news, it's only 22 days away. So it's September 23rd, mark your calendars because we'll be switching over from summer to fall, which means cooler weather and plenty of football for everyone. Mississippi River levels 29.7 feet today, and that's gradually going to go up just a little bit to 30.6 feet by Thursday, but no issue. And for the Yazoo River at Greenwood, 22.2 feet today, it's going to gr gradually go down to 21.3 feet by the time we hit Thursday. And tonight, it's going to be beautiful stargazing conditions. We're going to be clear. Probably won't see a cloud in the sky with that northeast wind. At about 10 miles per hour, most places will bottom out in the mid 60s. And for tomorrow, we're going to get up to 94. It's going to be mostly sunny. You may see a stray cloud, but we should stay rain free. Wind about southeast to northeast, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And looking at our seven day forecast, pretty straightforward. All we're really going to see is sun over the next couple of days into the weekend. We might cool down a little bit. By the time we hit Friday and Saturday with those lows going back into the 60s during the nighttime.